Hey guys, this is Eric with Pixel Rookie, and in this video we're going to take a look at the charming Metroidvania style action RPG with fish controlled robots in medieval times by Atu Games. Feudal Alloy. I was fortunate enough to get a short alpha demo of the game, and even though Feudal Alloy is still in early stages of development, I was pleasantly surprised by how polished the game was. The story of Feudal Alloy is simple. The main character, Atu, is an ordinary farmer robot who lives in a small cottage in sunflower fields. He had been living a simple but pleasant life until a bunch of outlaws attacked the village, stole their oil supplies, and burnt his house. Fortunately, he managed to grab his old sword and fled into the woods. So the actual demo doesn't cover any of the story in it. In fact, I'm certain this demo only scratches the surface of what the game will have to offer once it's released around Q3 of this year. At the very start of the demo, you get a series of nice disclaimers. Boom. I'm awesome. Fuck yeah I am. Level design is not very good. Lots of art and sound assets are placeholders. Lots of features are locked in the alpha. And there are no bosses. Oh, well, it's good to know. And a few other things that are expected for an alpha demo. Okay, well now that our expectations are set, let's talk a little bit about the game. Feudal Alloy is a very charming platforming action game where you're a fish in a suit of armor fighting other fish that are equipped with different mean outfits to dish out damage to you. The controls felt nice and fluid, and the fighting mechanics were simple and rewarding. Like many other action games, Feudal Alloy features a neat take on a stamina system. You have a heat gauge in every attack and special ability you use will increase your heat. If you overload and get too hot, you'll be vulnerable and unable to attack or defend yourself. You have your standard moves, attack, block, throw grenades, and use potions to cool down your heat levels or heal up. You also gain experience and level up, which allows you to unlock additional abilities, like a dash move that increases your mobility. There are different skill trees you can work towards unlocking, but a lot of these are currently locked since the game is still in an alpha state, but it definitely gave me a taste of what the system will look like when the game is finished. There's an additional feature in the game that I didn't even realize when playing the demo. This is a color-coordinated system that allows you to hurt enemies that block regular attacks. I thought they were invincible, but you actually need to match the color that they're highlighted as, and then you can give them the pain. The way you switch your color is by hitting the trigger button and it will cycle through the different colors that are highlighted. Even though there was a disclaimer at the beginning of the game saying the level design is currently not very good, I enjoyed it quite a bit. There are multiple hidden paths that unlock shortcuts and I found myself having to make decisions which way I wanted to go for multiple forks in the road. When you destroy other pesky fish armored baddies, you can collect scraps and sometimes some gold that they drop. The gold let me purchase upgrades like weapons, armor, potions, and bombs. I also found the game to be a good challenge and the puzzles were enjoyable and not too complicated. I did find myself dying quite a bit if I wasn't being too careful. Those bad guys were tough. Shit. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> How do I get past you? <laughs> Eat a dick! Before I knew it, I had enough gold to purchase the best weapon, I unlocked all the abilities that were available in the demo, and I fought my way to the end of the alpha build. I'm really looking forward to seeing more of Feudal Alloy. It has a ton of charm, and it's very pretty, even in an early stage of development. The controls felt good, and the UI was easy to understand. I definitely think the game is meant to be played with a controller, because it felt much better than using a mouse and keyboard. Be sure to keep an eye out for Feudal Alloy. Set to release later this year for Windows, Mac, Xbox, PS4, and Nintendo Switch. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more game highlights, reviews, let's plays, and more, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, and until next time, have a good one.